Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all fine and keeping safe. If you're new here, my name is Masha. My YouTuber based in Nairobi, Kenya. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you for always coming back and clicking on my videos. I really appreciate you till this far. Pardon my inconsistency, guys. I've been... I can't say I've been going through anything. I've just been so busy, up and down. I just And then I just said to take... A break from social media not just youtube even instagram but i've been active on whatsapp because of work you see work groups and all but i am back and i hope to stay so welcome to a beautiful video see the beautiful smiles that i will coming here to the video on this day we are attending a creatives event at uh, our campus they are launching the cape media academy here uh, young talents are going to to be nurtured by other creatives who are already in the industry. So, like this event was being hosted by uh, the Eagle. The Eagle was the MC. That is Dr. Ofueneke. And then there are other creatives who came, like uh, Bitik Chalo, Alex Makideo. In literally every field, uh, there were creatives who came to nurture the young people. And registrations are going on. It is so easy. I don't know if it's open to every person or it's just at the university maybe i'll follow up and then i'll let you know so it was a beautiful event anyway uh, uh so many young creatives from our school had been invited and we showed up and showed out so i hope you enjoy what you're hearing right now is our university band it was making the entrance and just playing a few songs and then the national anthem went and then the east african anthem and then some presentations followed the choir uh it we had a program so this was just the band doing the entrance then doing presentations and then the choir joined in maybe i should let you hear the presentations Some of the presentations that I was able to record on those day, I don't know if there are others, maybe you'll see as we continue watching. And then I just remembered something there is this uh, thing that I really don't like about celebrities, Kenyan celebrities, maybe. And I'm not even throwing shade, I'm just speaking freely. Hmm? I really don't like how celebrities like to impose their thoughts and opinions on people they think have not succeeded for lack of a better word, let me say that uh, you see a celebrity uh, we know our celebrities we know some of their stories those that they have told on the media of course we don't know those that they have not told and you know how long 
it takes for one to blow up as a celebrity like without connections so i really don't like how they like to make it look like if you don't do as they have said you're never going to succeed if you don't uh, follow the steps they followed you're never going to succeed yet they had different parts from those that were before them if you're a celebrity just stop if you watch this and you're a celebrity it's giving controlling it's giving a narcissist it's giving it's giving the wrong things i don't know if you feel me guys but it's just my thought like i've seen this so often a celebrity will want you to do uh, something in a certain way like even when they are giving their advice just because they think that's what will make you succeed yet many people do what they are saying and they don't succeed as creatives anyway just my thought end of speaking freely so here it was celebration new relations the academy had just been launched our vice chancellor is up there together with the other creatives the people from the kenya film classification board and it was beautiful Everything else aside, I think this was a really good initiative and that was it for that day. And uh, the next day, <laughs> you're probably wondering how I got here. I'm running to go collect my CATS exam. Okay. I was late. The class was supposed to start at 4. I, this was 4.35. I had not even gotten to class. The good thing was that I decided to write the exam and finish before going to collect it. It was a research paper. So if I had not done that, I don't know. This was now me coming from class. Calm. <laughs> ah, different from how I'd gotten there. So I, I, I really thank God that I decided to finish the exam before going. Because we're getting into the lecture hall and the lecturer says, kindly put your paper there before you see it. Then she lectured for like 30 minutes and the class was over. So if I do not finish, you know what happen. Anyway, on that weekend, this was me going to Kasarani. Our company was having an CRS event. We were going to a home for the old people to just be with them, interact with them, know about them, give our donations, and it was a beautiful day. I think it's one of the events that uh, I'd really love to attend again and again if there are any events in this line. So if you know any events, if you're going to any event of visiting people and you're giving donations and you're interacting with them, please let me know. That was it after that place. We went out for lunch. Our company is right, guys. So there were different vehicles. There were like three vehicles. Easy. One for the CEO. One that was uh, carrying other members. And there was also another vehicle that was carrying more people from the company. And our, our, our colleagues. So we then went to have lunch. This is my fish. So people were having pork. There was pork. There was chicken. There was boozy and yeah. <laughs> fish. Not on my bill, of course. <laughs> and then, uh, as you've seen that video, then we went home. And then the, on Sunday, that was on Saturday. On Sunday, I went to the, I went for shopping. I went first to the market, and then I went to the mall. And that was it, guys, for that week. I hope you enjoyed the video. And leave me a comment in the comment section. I bought a lot of things at the supermarket, so I could not carry them. I don't blame you. I call Bazu immediately. I get to the apartment. Come and help me carry, because those boxes, those bags were the big bags, and they were very big. Because a baby girl cannot do that, someone has to do that. And who is that person? Bazu, of course. <laughs> and uh, it's so dusty, guys. Hey. I think it should rain one of these days. Because I live next to the road in Rio. Got myself lots of snacks. My favorite snack is Twix. And then this footage was supposed to be on Saturday when I went to, uh, for the company event. Bazo and Kilian were chilling. They were hanging out. 
then he sent me this footage and I really love that. Uh, this generation's fathers are present that they're intentional about spending their time. You're Totoni Nani! You're Totoni Killian. Killian is singing self-pinchy. Yes. And then, that was it. That week. This and uh, I think this was the Tuesday of the following week. This was the day that there were demonstrations, protests against the finance bill. A lot of lives were lost on this day. I'll, again, I'd like to express my condolences to the families that lost their loved ones. Uh, we're going for a meeting on that Tuesday. And I uh, was looking fly, looking peng, looking everything nice. 10 over 10 minus nothing. Uh. <laughs> so that's what's up, guys. Kindly like this video, share the link with your friends. Get me to a thousand subscribers. Guys, we're like 40 subscribers less. Then we get to a thousand. Can't wait for that day to be pure celebrations. So kindly get me there with this video i know it shall come to pass so lord help me amen <laughs> bye